Tijuana. I'm going to take now a few minutes just to explain to all of you a little bit about what today's ceremony means. So the associate degree in nursing science that was awarded earlier today in the general college graduation affords our graduates the privilege of sitting for state board exams with the ultimate goal of achieving RN licensure. But today's pinning ceremony means much more than that. Today's ceremony is a rite of passage that each nurse takes on a long journey towards mastery of a dynamic and rewarding profession. Today, as our graduates receive their pin and take the Nightingale Pledge for the first time, they reaffirm the, timeless, the timelessness of the core values of the nursing profession and officially join the larger community of nurses throughout the world who pledge to practice a profession of service with integrity, honesty, and commitment. Like Anna, I oftentimes really think a lot about nursing. Sometimes in my deep, quiet hours, I think about what I'm doing. Even after 30 years of working as a nurse, I think about, you know, what's my intention? What's my intention for the day? You know, what, what do I want to provide for my patients as I go about my daily tasks? So as I was, as I was reflecting on nursing, I realized that you rarely ever see statues of nursing in nurses in public places. I think there's one in Washington that honors the, the nurses who were in Vietnam. But there are very few buildings that are named after nurses either. And I think that's really strange because I believe that nurses everywhere deserve medals for bravery, awards for compassion, and prizes for their professionalism. Today, students, the pins you will receive say far more than medals ever will. They say you are qualified to serve the public in a totally unique way. And what is that unique way? Nursing is a profession that is much more intimate and demanding than any other profession that exists. It is challenging and absorbing and really hard physical work. Yet nursing, without a doubt, is the most satisfying and rewarding career in the world. Whether you choose to be a midwife or work in a state-of-the-art intensive care unit, you are working in an environment that gives hope and help. You are often the bridge between life and death. In a world where self-interest always seems to be the key, you are the epitome of unselfishness. In a world where there is so much need and greed, you give your all. Nursing is rewarding, but it can also be traumatic, soul-destroying, and heartbreaking. Yet you have decided to face the challenge, meet the need, and give of yourself, and that says a lot. For the last two years, you've studied really hard. During your schooling, you have met many like-minded students. You also, I am sure, met those who seem to be a million miles away from you, both culturally and in understanding. That's natural and it's good for you because it teaches you understanding and patience because all your patients will not be sweetly grateful to you for ministering to them. Many of them will be too ill or in too much pain to express any gratitude. In fact, they are likely to be cross and oftentimes unpleasant. But nurses don't do nursing for the thanks. In a day when the term vocation has almost gone out of fashion, Nursing is still a vocation. It is about giving of yourself. It is about being ready to learn new treatments and having an open mind for new ideas. It is about using the latest technology while still giving good old-fashioned loving care. A good nurse has to be gently affirmed. Good nurses smile when their hearts are breaking. Good nurses convey feelings of cheerfulness and optimism and hope even when that's the last thing on your mind. So today is a day to celebrate and feel good. You deserve that breathing space before you take up your new career. Your career will be demanding, but you will, I know, meet those demands. In fact, I am sure you will be assets to the proud profession to which you now belong. Most of us, at some time in our life, will need a good nurse. When I look at you, I feel highly confident that when I do, I'll be an extremely good hand. So today, as you receive your, nurse, receive your nursing pins and take the Nightingale Pledge for the first time, 
The nursing faculty members, staff, and everyone here want to extend our sincerest congratulations to you all and our best wishes for your future in nursing, whatever path you may decide to take. We are proud of you. I am proud of you. We welcome you into the ranks of nurses, and we are honored to have played a role in your education. So thank you. So it is now my pleasure to welcome our student speakers. These student speakers were elected by their peers and selected based on their qualities of scholarship and leadership. First to speak today is Ms. Valerie Dreika. Valerie was born and raised in Edison, New Jersey. She obtained a Bachelor of Science degree in Business Administration, double majored in both marketing and management at the University of North Carolina, Wilmington, in December 2005, where she was also nominated and received the Cornerstone Distinguished Service Award. After graduation, she worked as a bridal buyer at Reed's Jewelers in North Carolina and retail administrator and both boutique manager at Body in Santa Fe. She decided she wanted a career change and realized she loved nursing after working with her, her mother's hospice nurses. After researching nursing schools and requirements for over a year, she finally decided on Northern New Mexico College for her prerequisites and was later accepted to the nursing program. She is a member of the Student Nurse Association and she is now the Student Nurse Association President. She's a member of Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society and she completed the licensed practical nurse step out option last summer and obtained an LPN license in December 2012. Please help me welcome Valerie to the podium. Dr. Nancy Barcelo, Ana Gutierrez Cisneros, nursing faculty, family, friends, and of course my fellow graduate nurses. It is my absolute honor to stand here before you today. 21 months ago, a group of strangers walked through the doors of Northern. Within that group, a medical assistant, a certified nursing assistant, a retail sales assistant, a customer service representative, a stay-at-home mommy, an entrepreneur, a masseuse, and a spa assistant. For whatever reason, on that day in August, a group of mismatched strangers came together to better and change their lives. During their journey, they gained a few more strangers, and today, that group stands before you as graduate nurses. To my fellow cohort, I challenge you to embrace the future with open arms. The future belongs to those who truly believe in their dreams, and today, we have made those dreams a reality. Let this day be the stepping stone for each one of us on our journey, and with each new day, opportunities will present themselves. Be happy with who you are today, but never stop imagining who you could be tomorrow. Care more than others think is wise. Dream more than others think is practical. Risk more than others think is safe. And expect more than others think is possible. As nurses, each day we will touch a life or be touched by a life. We have chosen a profession of exceptional work. Nurses truly are angels here on earth. Over these past 21 months, we have learned and grown so much as students and as individuals. We've used the knowledge from our anatomy, physiology, psychology, nursing, and leadership classes to care for adults and children during our time as student nurses. But being a nurse is so much more than you could ever learn in school. No class can teach you how to cry with a patient. No professor can teach you how to find dignity in a bed bath. And no book can teach you how to tell someone their parent, spouse, or child has died. Being a nurse is not about the medications, the IVs, or the charting. It's about being able to love people when they are at their worst, being able to forgive them for all their wrongs and making a difference in their lives. No one can make you a nurse, you just are. We have each learned so much from one another. From Joanna, I learned that a red light doesn't always mean stop. <laughs> from Alex, I learned that pretty much everything looks better in pink. From Jennifer, I learned that no excuse is good enough to skip the gym but there's always room for McDonald's french fries. <laughs> from Angie, I learned to keep a better eye on my paperwork. From Cheryl, I learned that gangman style doesn't age discriminate. And from Kevin, I learned that any pair of scrubs can be turned into something fabulous with the right accessories. <laughs> 
Together we've laughed and cried. There have been days we have wished to be over sooner and days we have wished had never begun in the first place. We've celebrated birthdays, Christmas, Thanksgiving, Valentine's Day together. We've scarfed down fast food in classrooms while discussing subjects that might make an outsider nauseous. We've gotten married, divorced, had babies, and lost loved ones. And just as we have spent long days at work or clinical, we have endured long nights of studying, late nights writing care plans, followed by consecutive exams the following morning. We have had the best of times and the worst of times together. But most importantly, together, we made it. I have never been more proud of myself or the 19 members of my fellow cohort. This is our day. It is the day we have been working so diligently towards. Because today, my friends and my classmates, we did it. Today, we are graduate nurses. Congratulations, class of 2013.